Hello everyone. Welcome to the Geo Ecologist. So today's lecture is about the continuation of the previous lecture that is regarding the field work and we learned about various approaches and the evolution of field work. So today we are going to talk about the role and value. So what is the role of field work and what is the value of field work? Why is it important? So what role does it have to play in geography or geoecology and what are the values associated to the field work? Why is it important for us? So remember when we talk about field work there are several things that come to our mind. First of that thing is that why should we do field work? Why should not we look into the matter sitting at home or through internet through satellite technology? So remember it has a particular role and a particular value which helps us to answer many questions. So answering many questions means what are the questions? So let's look at these questions today in today's lecture we'll discuss about what are the questions that a geographer or a field worker or a such scientist tries to answer so let's go further and look at it so to understand the field work's role and its value there is one must understood thing what is that we must understand what is a geographer's role what does a geographer do what a geographer does so what is it that we do are we just people who draw maps that's it or are we people who analyze spaces what do we do what are the questions that we answer so we are going to look into what does a geographer does so let's look at that there are five different kinds of questions that a geographer seeks to answer how many five different kinds of questions so there are types of questions so let's look at the five different kinds of questions that we answer as geographers so first question is generic question so generic questions like generic medicine as we have heard so what is that that have to do with the basic content okay the what the first question is what not just where so what so what content is the content of the earth space but that cannot be effectively answered without a framework of concept isn't it so generic questions are the what questions the basic questions that talk about what on a earth surface all right those are generic questions that we try to answer then what is that genetic questions so generic then we have genetic so genetic as the term suggests it has to do with the sequence of events leading from past situations and to the present situations but past to present through what through the various changes through geographic changes that have occurred on the surface of the earth so generic questions we answer genetic questions we answer apart from that theoretical questions very much important that is theory building okay so what happens formulation of empirical generalizations general laws or theories that we make that is the basic theory theoretical understanding of a matter so that is what is very much important with the methods of drawing logical deductions so remember inductions and deductions these have key role to play in theoretical questions answering so induction of a theory and deduction of a theory that is much related to the field work and answer is related to the theoretical questions right so generic genetic theoretical and then we have the fourth type that is the remedial questions so what are these remedial questions the term is remedy that means it must have an application of the concepts that we have built in our theories isn't it so our skills to study the practical economic socio political socio economic environmental situation so that is what when we say remedy like climate change is a problem then what is the remedy to that so geographers and people social scientists they try to use geographic concepts and find out the remedies the answers to this the remedial questions then what we have is the methodological questions right so methodology becomes very much important because newer techniques of observation analysis newer instruments newer methods these are very much important right so new methods new observation skills new analysis would give answers to many questions right so we have learned about these five questions that a geographer answers what are those five questions so generic genetic then we have the remedial questions then we have methodological questions and 
then we talk about the theory so generic genetic and then we have theoretical and then we have remedial and then we have methodological questions so in total five questions is what we try to answer in our research but wait where is field work in it so field work is there in every question if you see the geographers answer these five questions but remember field work is part of all these questions that we answer that's why the first question was at first we should understand before understanding the role and value what does a geographer do so geographers if answer these five questions so these five questions will be answered through this field work as one of the part core part core component of the methodology so remember that okay now this is the role of field work so role is divided into five segments if you see what are these segments conceptual development skill development appreciating the values development of sense of aesthetics social and personal development these are the five important part as the role of field work so first is the conceptual development isn't it the development of concept is very much important and it develops it clarifies as we link ourselves to the ground to the context isn't it so it becomes very much important part of the conceptual development then we have skill development so at the same time we are also learning skills as we have talked in the previous lectures isn't it the skill to conduct a field work itself skill to understand an instrument usage in the field itself like gps and other instruments isn't it so skill is soft skill as well the writing skill as well writing a report sketching in the field isn't it and also planning out a survey so all these skills are very much important part of the field work that is coming under the role of field work then appreciating values remember if we go to the field we tend to connect to the ground we understand the situation of the context and also appreciate the values remember if there is a green area if there is a river where there is a settlement and they have very well aesthetically planned themselves they have a culture that is linked to the nature preservation of the species forest many times we come across so we must appreciate those values the ethical values are very much important and appreciation of those values are the key component of the role of field work so field work tells us teaches us about the appreciation of these values that are there on the ground right then comes the development of aesthetics the sense of aesthetics so how beautifully how aesthetically how well there is the planning of a landscape isn't it how a landscape should be planned so how a nature has drawn its plan and how on that human beings have drawn their plans right so how there are ridge line settlement settlements how there are settlements along the river how there are settlements on the rock structures isn't it so various places will find different sense of aesthetics in the places right so development of sense of aesthetics also is something that we learn while doing the field work itself then what we have is social and personal development the fifth and the fifth key important point is the interaction isn't it we as human beings are social and this leads to personal development as well if we go to a particular field we learn so many things from that society that we are going into that how people live in sync with nature how people live with amongst themselves what is the social harmony how is the social order isn't it so many a times social and personal development is done while doing the field work so this is the role of the field work like we have made a concept of five role that is there in the field work is conceptual dev development skill development appreciating these values the development of sense of aesthetics and social and personal development so these five ways are there to learn the role of field work okay so you can write as much as you want on if a question is asked on this but remember to draw a particular flow diagram stating these five important points when you are discussing the role of field work all right let's go further value now value itself is a valuable word isn't it whenever we say value of something we try to assess appraise the worth of something isn't it maybe not economically but also in other ways socially environmentally ecologically so there are so many ways of assessing the values 
so let's assess the value of field work why is it important what is the value of field work what values do we draw so if i am a field researcher what values does this field work input into me and what in i do about that field work what value do i ascribe to my field work so let's look at that the first important thing is that the value of field work can be ascribed to geographical value experiencing landscape features so geographical value of experiencing so you don't have the experience suppose if a person is born in gangetic plain he has never seen the mountains he has never seen the oceans so when first time he goes to the field in a coastal area or in a mountain area he experiences those landscape features for the first time and then this first value comes in about the experience in itself how does it feel to be there isn't it then busy urban streets in a urban area if you go you experience busy urban streets so you have an experience you may have unfamiliar cultures isn't it so if you go to the field you may be not familiar to that particular culture if suppose you go to a particular place where there is a culture of worshiping a particular animal or a tree so you'll be astonished that people here worship trees or a particular animal so these are particular unfamiliar cultures that people experience then extremes of weather like i said in a coastal area or in a mountain area or in a desert area you have extremes of weather conditions that you are experiencing right then what the journey to venture itself isn't it the journey itself of this complete field has certain value to you it adds lots of values when you come back you bring in lots of values after the journey with yourself that's why experience and the journey to venture itself is the main thing that is the main value that you inculcate through field work right so it helps the students and the research scholars to do what so basically to plan themselves to locate themselves in the local environment right in context of the global situation we are aware about the global situation through our learning and when we look at the global uh, situation and also connected with the local situation we are trying to do something like local environment in the context of global we locate our locals in the global and see where are we heading to what is the level of development that we are right now heading towards what is it happening so these experiences leads and it can create opportunities as well right so opportunities to connect to the theory with real life experience so what theories we study in the books in the classroom it is connected with the real experience that is the major crux major value that brings through field work isn't it connecting the theory with the real experience all right then what we have is it enables all the students and research scholars to work towards a sustainable world isn't it sustainability is very much important you must sustain what you are doing today should not just get emptied by tomorrow it should sustain for a longer time period isn't it so sustainability is one thing that people learn while field work okay so it encourages students to be active and responsible citizens it also teaches us the values of a good citizenship responsible citizenship then it also helps to be prepared and to offer opinions and aspirations for the nation when you have experiences of certain areas values of a particular responsible citizens then your opinion and your aspiration for the nation would matter and this would eventually lead to nation building so remember field work is not just a part of practical paper that you study it's part of the larger goal of study that is the nation building isn't it as a responsible citizen so that is the main value that we bring through the field work okay and at the end we let's discuss this gentleman called karl sar he is also the father of cultural geography he made a very peculiar statement about field work let's see the principal training of geographer should come wherever possible by doing field work okay so the father of cultural geography carlos sar says that principal training of a geographer should be based on field work wherever possible why because of these values these roles that are associated to the field work okay so it is a reflection of the importance of long and explicit legacy of field work within the discipline of geography that's why field work is such an important part that we are learning about the field work 
okay about its approaches about its evolution then about its role and values okay so we must understand that it's, it's the principal learning the principal training for a geographer or for a social scientist okay so let's learn through the field work and we'll be coming up with more sessions so please like and subscribe to the channel and also share with your friends and do not forget to press the bell icon for the updates so learn and stay safe thank you so much